If you have never had a hibiscus, first of all, I will tell you, they grow in every state of the country. I'm not sure about Alaska, but they grow in every state of the country. These are those dinner plate size flowers. I, I will walk over because I have to show you the size of the flowers. This is my hand. Now, granted, I have a pretty big hand, but look at the size of these freaking flowers. They call them dinner plate uh, 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 hibiscus because they're that big. Look at the size of these. $17.95 in free shipping and handling. Uh, you're going to absolutely love these. Rochelle, I'll let you take it away. These are gorgeous. Oh, but real quick, yes. two varieties. I have it available in airbrush or vintage vine. I'm going to call airbrush the brighter pink one. I got airbrush effect or vintage wine. That's what I have, 808943. Yeah. That's what I've got. All right, but anyway, one is going to be darker, one's going to be a little bit lighter. Go ahead, Rochelle. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to say I, I love both of these colors. They are so pretty. They would go really well with your roses, by the way. Um, these are going to love a spot in your garden where maybe you have um, either by irrigation means a good amount of moisture or maybe um, you have a problem spot. A lot of people have that where there maybe there's a little drainage issue or water set, uh, sets. Um, and the reason for that is because these are native to North America and the place that they're native to is our swamplands and boggy areas. So they've been bred to have these giant dinner plate sized blooms. So they're really, really showy. But because they're native plants, they support our ecosystem and they grow really well throughout the U.S. So you don't have to worry about, you know, having something be invasive or anything like that. You get these big, amazing flowers and they are not only beautiful in your garden, but good for your garden and everything around you. And as I just said, if you have a wet spot, these are great for that because they actually really like that wet feet sort of thing. And what you're going to get for that giving them lots of water and nutrients and you know what they want is these just absolutely enormous, enormous flowers. We, we talk about them calling them the 65 mile an hour plant because if somebody's driving by your house at 65 miles an hour, they're gonna notice these. They are absolutely not gonna miss them because these are such a big wow moment. If you don't want that going on in your garden, you don't want people asking you about them, don't get these. But this is what you're gonna get. Similar to the roses, you're gonna get what we call a bare root um, stalk. And it's gonna feel a little different than the roses. These these little stems, they, they, they it's like the whole thing feels kind of like uh, fresh carrots, like a bag of carrots. You're gonna plant it up to where it's very obviously the top is the one sticking up and there's a little bit of a dirt line. You're just gonna plant it in the ground like that. These are heat activated. So if you are up north, like I am here in Boston, they're a little bit more of a late season plant because they really don't get going until the soil gets nice and warm. If you wanna um, accelerate that, I would say put them in a container. Last year, I don't know if you remember, if you watched, I had a couple here that I planted in February and March and by April, they were three feet tall. That's because they were sitting right here and they got nice and warm right away. Whereas my out outdoor ones, they didn't get going like that until like July. So um, just so you know, it's a heat active thing but once they get going you're gonna get these amazing blooms they're just they're such a wow moment I had mine in containers as I said you know I started them here and I had them with grasses and it was just like one day after the next was a new bloom these blooms last a day they come on and they just keep coming and they were so showy and gorgeous my favorite are the red ones I had a bunch of the red ones last year and yeah. they I mean, they sat at the top of my driveway, and every time I drove up to my house, I was just like, wow, look at that. I mean, it was, it was, they're you know just what? amazing. You know what amazes me, too, is when, uh, is when they start to grow, because I have a, I have a biscuit on my, on my porch and patio. You've seen mine. Uh, mine's mm -hmm. the braided one. The number of buds, like, it, once they start budding, there's like 15, 20, 30 buds every single day. And the reason it does that is because remember, a hibiscus flower only opens up for 24 hours, right? One day, and then it drops off, and then the other ones come up. So every day you're gonna have new fresh flowers opening up. You'll have them at different stages. I don't know if you can see on this one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, there, there's 17, there's gotta be 30 buds on this already, okay? And those are gonna yeah. open up every day. You get your one year warranty with this. It is less than $18. It's free shipping and handling if you wanna pick it up. Like, I, I love what Rochelle said, and you're right. If you don't want something that's gonna be showy, don't buy this. If you don't want people saying, <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that thing on your patio? And by the way, I like them in, in containers. That's the way I like it, because yeah, you can move too. it around. Yeah. yeah. If you don't like that, don't buy it. But boy, if you want people to be stopping and saying, wow, what a garden, 808-943, that's the one that you want. 
Rochelle, thank you, my dear. Good to see you as You're always. You're welcome. Appreciate as it. Always. Yeah. Short and sweet. See you soon. <laughs> yeah. All right, hon, take care. <laughs> Yeah. All right, see ya. 808-943, $17.95. And as with all our flowers and all our plants, free shipping and handling on those as well. All right, so a lot of you say to me, Guy, I don't have space for a garden. I, I live in an apartment or I'm, I'm in a condo. Um, I have a little bit of a deck, uh, but I would really like to have uh, a vegetable garden. Well, we have something uh, that has been so popular uh, here uh, at the network, and it's called the Mobile Veggie Patch. Um, and I, I just think this thing is amazing. First of all, I want you to look at it. Here it is. I actually had them bring it out with nothing on it to show you. And we've got some, I think we got some pictures to show how, uh, and we've also got live shots uh, when Tom comes out. But what you've got here is multiple tiers that allow your veggies to grow from the, from the basin down below and then fill in all through here. So if you wanted to do basil and tomatoes and peppers, you could do all three of those at the same time. All right, you could do lettuces down below. That's how it looks when it starts to grow. Uh, this thing is always... Uh, at our regular price of 86, today they dropped the price to $69.95. If you have a balcony, if you have a patio, a small yard, your family will love it. They can go out and pick fresh basil or fresh tomatoes and make salads in seconds. Um, the base holds 10 gallons of soil, three gallons of water. So we call it a self-watering system because once you add water into this, a substantial amount, there is actually a, a space underneath where there is a water reservoir. So as the, the plant needs water, it can draw from the reservoir, so a lot less maintenance. Let me introduce you to my special guest. His name is Tom Wise. Tom's here to tell us all about it. Hey, buddy, everybody has been flipping out over this thing, and I think why is now anybody can have a garden without having to do all that work or I'll have all that space, Tom. Oh, guy, is it, this is crazy. If you've got a patio, if you've got a small little space and you've always had the yearning to have a garden, this is perfect. This is ideal. It's the veggie patch. You can put anything you want here. You got a lot of dirt. You can even grow, look at this, onions or carrots or potatoes or things that go up the vine like peppers or sweet peas or tomatoes. It's absolutely amazing. If the weather gets bad, if it gets cold outside or too rainy, you can roll it in. It's got wheels on the backside. This is amazing. Or you want more sun, you want less sun, put it in the spot that you want. But the key is, Guy, you don't have to worry about watering it. This is a self-watering technology. You see the little squares? They've got a square on this side and a square on this side. You can't see, but in the back. Well, you've got a false bottom. Here's where the magic happens. You take the false bottom, you drop it in. Now you put in your dirt, then you put in your plants. Now you water into the hole, and then the roots penetrate the false bottom, and then they start feeding the plant and giving the plant as much or as little water as you want. Plants used to come to my house to die. It was that I'd either overwater them or underwater them. Now, this is perfect. Now, you can grow the types of plants that you want. I can even grow flowers. I can even start plants in there. I can have this inside the garage when it's hot out or too cold out. This is ideal. It's perfect. Maximize the little space you've got. Finally, you don't have to have a, a ranch or a farm yes. to have a garden. All you need is a little space like this guy. And, and you guys, Tom, they're so smart because they put it on wheel on rolling wheels, uh, and that's so that you can move it from place to place. Because you know, if you're growing a vegetable garden, you may need more sun, right? If you're having if you have tomatoes yes. and things like that, so you have the ability if you if you have a deck to move it in the place of the sun to get to maximize. There's a thank you so much as if on cue. There it is. So now you can move it wherever you want. I love I love that look. I love how it's over growing it's like oh my gosh look at all that bounty right you got tomatoes yep. you've got uh you have uh, cilantro or you have uh, a basil or spearmint whatever it is you want to grow you can put your herbs at the bottom and then maybe put your tomatoes or your peppers on top i've always wanted to grow like hot peppers but i've never done it before i bet if i wanted to do like little uh chilies i could do chilies oh, yeah. on here i could do a, a variety of different peppers i could I do lettuce. lettuce and then the fun part tom is you go out there at, at four o'clock five o'clock in the afternoon and you you go harvest yourself a salad. What is better than that? Guy, it's, it's perfect. My, but my, my brother's a vegetarian, you know that. He just goes out and grabs a tomato and he's making a, what are you making, Patrick? Moulage, roux, whatever it is, but it's all fresh. <laughs> I did, roulade. I did. Uh, he does a roulade. Of, yeah, there you go. He makes a little stack. Yeah, roulade. All I got I'm, it. All I know is I'm, I'm usually <laughs> eating good after he goes out into the garden. <laughs> and, and, 
And then I did hot peppers last year. It was amazing. You want yeah. to spice something up and make it a little chili or make it a little uh, hamburgers. Just go out sure. there and get a fresh pepper. It's unbelievable. And what I like about the bucket is usually you can't grow, you know, potatoes or carrots inside your house or, or, or in your local garden. But now you can you can bury your potatoes and then you're gonna have a bounty of potatoes. You can just put potatoes on one side if you so desire. And then you can also put things that grow like a pepper or like a, a flower or like a, a peas or, or jazz. But you can build a, build a trellis as necessary, you know, one, two or three segments. Let it grow up, attach things, things are nice and firm, keep it in the sun. You can even disappear for a couple of days because you put the water in it and it only takes the water that it needs, Guy, This is yeah. really a, a perfect system. I, I want to I show everybody the one I have in front of me. Um, and by the way, our uh, spinners are going crazy. There, people are already buying our spinners, our mermaid's uh, tail spinner. That's coming up in just a bit. Uh, I wanted to show you, and I don't know if, you, if, I, if I lean it forward, maybe you guys can come with the overhead and show how deep this is. It's super, super deep. Um, as you can see, I put my whole arm inside there. So uh, when Tom was talking about doing root vegetables, you can do that. But here's my, my thing. So let's say you, let's say you, you like um, authentic Mexican food. It's Cinco de Mayo was yesterday, right? So let's Go say on. you like that you want to put peppers on here you want to put cilantro in the bottom right so you've got some uh, you've got uh, the fixings for all that spicy food if you love like the tomato roulades that Tom was talking about where you layer uh, tomatoes and mozzarella and fresh basil, grow your tomatoes Ooh. and your basil in here, right? Uh, and then just put a little balsamic vinegar on top. You can grow whatever it is you love, but I will tell you this, and Tom knows this firsthand, there is nothing like walking out to your patio and harvesting your own fresh food. And let me tell you this, there is no tomato in any marketplace in the world that is going to be as good as the one that you pick off the vine, okay? None. Tomatoes start losing their sugar content the minute they separate from the plant. That's why they're so sweet when they're on the vine, okay? They use that sugar to survive because they've been plucked from the vine. From the vine. So if you go out and you do cherry tomatoes and you put them in a salad within 30 minutes of picking them, you're going to have the most ridiculous cherry tomatoes you've ever had in your life. Absolutely. But you can't do that, Tom, unless you have a system to grow them, and that's what this is. Yeah, I, I love this particular piece. And, Guy, we both know that the worst thing that you, you can have with a, with a plant is to stress it out. Right. And if it doesn't have enough water or it has too much water, it starts to stress and the fruit starts to go bad. But now I can have onions. I can have potatoes. I can have cucumbers. I can have peppers. And I can also grow flowers. I can grow peas, whatever I want. And I can move it from space to space because it's on wheels. I can water it and then miss a couple of days because I've got this huge reservoir of water. And all it's doing is producing tomatoes. That's all I did with these tomatoes, guy. I just put water in the bottom and I just let nature take its course. Look at that. It, it's such a nice family thing to do as well, right? I know for celebrating Mother's Day in a couple of days, I mean, it's so nice when you can share with your kids or your grandkids how things grow, why they grow, the key to growing, yep. and you can do that all on your porch or patio. That makes it worth the money. I, I would pay four times the price for this because the memories you're going to get to do, you'll, you'll love. Absolutely. Customer pick on hsn.com, 733081. Thank you, Tom Wise. Great job. Always a pleasure. Thanks, guys. All right, my friend. This is our solar metal uh, glass hanging crackle ball. Here's what I'll tell you on this. They dropped the price from 29, let's say 29, $29 down to $19.95 for my show. Uh, this is a gorgeous addition to any landscape. It's actually brand new today. So they came out of the gate swinging saying, you know what? We want people to have some beautiful decor. It sparkles during the day. But at night, and I'll show you, I've got, I've got them kind of up here spinning. We have a little bit of wind here, but uh, it's gorgeous during the day. And then at night, that globe starts to light up. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got LEDs inside and there's a solar panel built into it. So if you want this out on your porch or patio or balcony, it'll be perfect. And today, as I said, uh, they dropped the price from 29 to 19. Uh, you have your choice of butterflies. Uh, I have dra dragonflies cardinals and bees those are the three and it's got that cute little medallion on the bottom it's only a twenty dollar bill uh yvette lopez is back and yvette's gonna take us on a little tour you know if you don't have room for or not yvette lopez tracy kane i'm sorry tracy tracy my bad I got so many guests and so many products, it's hard to keep track, but tra I, you cannot mistake. Guy. That's Tracy Kane. Everybody knows Tracy Hello. Kane. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> but Tracy, I was saying, and even with Yvette before with her spinners, everybody wants a yeah. little something pretty for their garden, but not everybody can grow stuff. This is perfect for that. Exactly. We can't all be Carrie Mobley. Let me just Thank say, you. <laughs> she's amazing at gardening. 
I'm amazing at decorating. <laughs> if I'm going to toot my own horn here. But I will tell you, these are really special. When you see lit up at night, you are going to just gasp. They are so precious. So it's all metal, glass. You have this sparkle ball in the middle, a solar ball. So it lights up and 10 LEDs. So they actually go all around your metal. And then actually the center here has a light, in, an LED in the center as well. So really pretty. They're beautiful ambient lighting. They just accent your space. So I would tell you, if you have a porch, a front porch, a back porch, you want to get these, you want to hang them. They are so adorable. And they only weigh about a pound. So you can see, I have them here on my shepherd's hooks hanging. And they really, I mean, they don't even move the shepherd's hook. They're so light, but yet beautiful, hand-painted. And actually, all the little critters are hand-cut, guys. Isn't that great? I, I love, I, you know, when I look at it, I can see it's artistically made, okay? Um, and I yeah. know a lot about that. I don't know more than you probably think I know. Uh, I, you know, I was married to an artist for a very long time, so I understand the whole idea of artistic design and stuff. These are beautiful. And, and that crackle glass, by the way, that's real glass. What they do is they actually crack a portion of that grass, and what it does is it reflects the light on the inside. It looks like, it almost looks like the moon at night. Like, it's, it's got that kind of a broken up sort of a, a, a textural look to it. It's gorgeous. And then to have those little uh, bands of color and then whether you like um, hummingbirds where's the cardinal cardinal is in the back you have to look at the cardinal that's my here, favorite I have one. one right here guys uh, that cardinal is way in the back and I'll, I'll go back here and i'll show you what's going to happen it has that little medallion on the bottom and we didn't we didn't actually hang this one on the bottom for some reason i don't know why but anyway uh this is they're going to spin around in a little bit of a circle normally that medallion is on the bottom you know what, it's just our product sample. Your, your medallion will be hanging underneath like this one. Can you guys show the other one so they know? I don't want them to think that it kinda, this one's a little off, off, off cue here because of the way we hung it. But this is how they're gonna hang on the bottom. So you see it's, cause this one's kinda wonky over here. Uh, here it is in the, uh, in the I think we're calling this uh, uh, dragonfly. This is dragonfly. This one is butterfly here. And then this one over here, that is the one that's the cardinal. So, and then we also have one that's a B. Sorry, as I stick my big head in the way. Uh, but if, for $20, Tracy, come on, here it is at night. Look how pretty the Cardinal is at night. So pretty. And these are really easy too, guys. I mean, talk about no, no installation of these whatsoever. When you get them home, they come with your rechargeable solar battery. You're going to lift that crackle ball up and you'll see right there is where you place your battery into the bottom of that ball. And that's all you have to do. And then just hook this on a little hook. Whether you want to do this in a screen porch, you want to do this on a front porch, you want to do this from your umbrella over your table. They're really very pretty, very special. And as Guy was saying, they're very artsy. This is definitely something you would find in like an art market or an art festival. They're very special. And Etar is known for making very special, whimsical pieces for your yard that if you're not a you know, natural gardener like I am, I try, but it's definitely not my forte. But you can make your yard look beautiful. You can add the pops of color. So if you want to go with the cardinal, you're going to have the green swirls going with that. If you go with the dragonfly, this goes with purple. And you can see all the dragonflies are different colors. The yeah. hot pink is for your bees. And that's turquoise uh, bees on there. And the, the blue has butterflies. I love it. So and really pretty. Each one's just a little different. Yeah. And uh, Tracy, you're a, you're a beautiful pop of color there as well. Look at you, right? Oh, so, well, thank you. So if you, but not everybody, you know, not everybody has that. They don't have flowers and stuff and they want something that, and even for their patio. What if you live in an apartment or, or you live in a condo and you have a balcony and you want one little thing that makes you smile every day. And don't forget when, when cardinals are near, Right? Angels appear. And I firmly believe in that. I tell you, every time I see oh, a cardinal. I love that guy. Uh, every time I see a cardinal, I'm fairly that. sure it's my dad checking up on me because he loved cardinals. I know it's my grandmother because yeah, she's a huge right? cardinal fan. Every yeah. time a cardinal she appears, cardinals. angels appear when they grow near. It's so cool. All right, uh, 783-546. Probably one of the coolest things that I've ever uh, done as a do-it-yourself project. I was one of those guys that went out, right, and I dug the trench. I have this, you'll see my backyard in a minute. 
I dug this big trench. I put this like sheet of, it was really cheaply made. I bought it from the home store. But you had to dig a trench and then you had to backfill it in. Nightmare, it looked awful. And then it started to bend in different directions. I discovered no dig edging two years ago. And take a look at my backyard. This used to be so sloppy back there. Look at how nice, there is the no dig edging in my yard. It is uh, bendable so you can go around corners. All you do is cut it. You do not, here it is around my fire pit. Look at my fire pit right here. I had some leftover, so I made, there it is. I made a circle, I took some of the stone in. That's where my fire pit goes. Here's the cool part about it. You never have to worry about digging a trench because it lays flat on the ground. Do you see how it works? So it lays like that. You take the spikes, if I can get one of these out of here, let me show you. You simply take a spike, I'll tilt it so you can see it, is that good? And you pound it in to the ground. It's all you need to do. Then you, then you backfill your stone this way, and on the other side, you have this beautiful framed out border. Um, everybody that orders today is gonna get 50 feet of the edging, which is enough for any project. Um, you're also gonna get uh, 32 of the anchoring spikes. They used to only give you 24, but they're like, let's give them 32. You don't have to put one in every hole. You can go about every third or four holes, all right? You can cut this if you need to with a, bare, a pair of regular wire cutters to do that, but you're gonna create the perfect edges, the perfect borders. You wanna do it around your mailbox, backyard, front yard, wherever you will do it. It is easy to do, and, and Lou Caputo rejoins us. And Lou and I have, as I told you, we don't mind projects, but we don't wanna kill ourselves doing it. You will no. love this product. So you have your choice of color. It comes in bl black, it comes in gray, it comes in, we're calling this red, but it's really like a, a, a dark brown. And then it also comes in the regular brown. Um, I, t I chose black but only because that's all we had available because it sells out so quickly. If I was gonna do it again, I'd probably get the red. I love that, that tone. But anyway, $32.95, best money you'll spend. If you wanna create a great project that's easy to do, this is the way to do it. Lou Caputo, Lou, I think it's finally time for our no dig yeah. edging. Yeah, no, I agree 100%. In fact, it's funny you say that because I was just eyeing an area in my backyard yesterday looking at Kelly going like, do you want to do white marble rock here or what do you want to do? Because ordinarily, I'd stay away from that. I wouldn't even bring it up because it's so hard to do. But this makes it so easy. And this stuff is flexible. It is so flexible. You don't have to dig anything. The tabs that are on this, you notice how many of these we give you. Uh, you just nail them into the ground, so to speak. You spike them in there with the stakes that we give you. We give you a lot of these so that, you know, guy, if you come across a root or a rock or a pipe or something you don't even have to worry about that but you can do shapes with this like you did around your fire pit you can do the circles we give you the connectors but you know part of the secret is this right here it's these little spikes that come with it okay if you notice they have this kind of spire pattern to it like a little spin to it and the reason that they do that is that when you drive these into the ground if you live up north and the ground freezes you don't have to worry about things popping up out of the ground because it's what they call ground heap where it literally pushes stuff up out of the ground. That's not gonna happen with your no dig. But let me give you a real quick example of how you use this, okay? So if you look at my tabletop right here, you can see we've got some mulch sitting up here, we got our grass, but it's kind of all over the place. We got this curvy pattern here, but you can't really appreciate it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'll show you the installation. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push back the mulch, okay? That's the first thing. Now this could be river rock, it could be you know pebbles, I mean, whatever it is that you got on your grass, okay? So we're gonna push all this stuff back just like this. Now, I've got a piece right here that I've already pre-cut that I know is gonna fit on there. So let me grab this, okay? And I'm doing this facing you today so you can see the way this works. I'm gonna set this in place. Now notice, we're not digging a trench, we're not doing anything. I just set this on the ground just like that. Then I take my spikes and I grab my mallet and I just start nailing this into the ground. You just start hammering it in. And you can do it anywhere you want. Like Guy said, you can go every three, four, sometimes even more. It depends if you're on a curve or you wanna like really spike it in for some reason in a certain spot. Maybe it's popping up. Here we go, watch this. Put the last one in. Now I want you to see the difference here, okay? Watch this. I'm gonna start pulling this across as I go down here. All right, and watch this. Now that we've got all that in, Daryl, let's pull back a little bit more. I want everybody to see the wide shot on this, okay? Yeah, now, look how neat this looks. Look at the difference, guy. Uh, now, I'm not gonna have to worry about using my string trimmer against this. I'm not gonna have to worry about, you know, anything damaging this. This stuff is really strong. It's made out of recycled plastic. And the lip on this is an inch and three quarters tall. 
So you got plenty there for when the rains come and things like that, it's gonna hold back your ground cover. It looks very easy. It looks so nice when you finish it. And it's yeah, so easy difference. to do. There's, you, you don't need an edger, you don't need a shovel, you don't need any of that. You need a little rubber mallet, all right, or a regular hammer. That's all you need. You can actually probably push them in with your foot if you had to. But here's kind of a, how it works. By the way, the little connectors are good if you've got two pieces and you want to join them together. Um, that's great. You could do it that way as well. So if you've got a border that's bigger than 50 feet, you can add one to the other one. You don't have to go every hole. I go about every four. When I, uh, yeah. and I also do one on the bend. When I make a, a bend on a corner, I do that. And I'll show mine again, if you don't mind, Mike, we'll pull up mine. Here's my backyard, and I had the old-fashioned edging before, but look at how it keeps the grass, and that's Bermuda, how it keeps it from crawling over, all right? It's easy to weed around, you're not gonna hurt it. It looks so nice. I mean, honestly, my backyard was messy. I, you know what I had before? I had mulch back there and no real edging, and it just, it was terrible. It looked lousy. I put stone in, which gave it great contrast, and then I put the edging in easily. And that edging I did in an hour. It was a piece of cake, right? Figured out what the design was that I wanted, and then I sprinkled some grass seed right up against it so the grass would crawl right up to it. It is perfect. If you're ordering today, and we're very busy, brown, gray, <clears throat> red, or black, you get the spikes to go with it, you get the connectors to go with it as well. Uh, black and red are the most popular right now. With an HSN credit card, you get this home for nothing. Brand new card gets you $40 in your account. That takes care of the shipping and handling and the price. Get it home. If you're looking for a great project that's fun to do, that's normally a pain in the butt, this makes it so easy. And, and Lou, you, it doesn't just have to be a border. Like we said, you, I did it around my fire pit. You oh, could yeah. do it, you could do it. I've got a picnic table coming up later. You could create a little yep. pic, picnic area in your backyard, yeah, edge it out, right? <clears throat> Well, and you can do any shape you want to. And literally, it goes down in seconds. I mean, I've, I've got a piece that I did that's almost 50 feet long, just straight across. So easy to do. Took me no time at all to do it. Just got to push that ground cover back. And you saw right there, you can cut this with any pair of shears. Really, really simple to do. Even though it is incredibly tough, it is flexible, so it's easy to work with, guy. Let me just tell you. I had this, uh, I don't know if I bought mine last year or the year before, I will just tell you, it's the best shovel I've ever owned in my life, okay? And I've owned a lot of different shovels. I've owned the galvanized shovels, I've owned the, the, the scoop shovels, the, the larger shovels, the, you know, every kind of shovel you could possibly want. And then I discovered this. This has every feature that anybody needs for any job. You don't have to be a gardener, okay? You can just be want to be digging a hole or maybe prying out a rock. I'm going to sit down and show it to you. So here it is right here. And I'll show you some of the quick features before I, I get my special guest, uh, Lorna Coe, is going to be joining us. So, on the face, this is everything, okay? First of all, you have stainless steel. This thing isn't going to last you forever. It's not going to rust out on you. On one side, you have these, what I call uh, basically shark's teeth, okay? These are going to cut through any root, anything that you need to get through. So if you are doing gardening, if you're trying to remove a tree or trying to take out and transplant a tree, that's what you want. You've got a flat edge on the other side. On the top, there's like a little uh, 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 dig spot right here. That's going to give you leverage, and it's also going to help you to cut through the sharp roots as you're going down. Uh, it has a, a place for your feet on the back, so if you want to step in, it's uh, the perfect shape. If you are digging holes for planting, it's the perfect shape. It's the best way to level out boulders and rocks out of your garden. It is fiberglass across the handle, comfortable uh, rubberized grip up here, the perfect size because I'm a big guy. 29 they dropped the price ten dollars an hour ago. They said, let's drop it to 29 since we haven't had it on all year. Everybody can get a cool shovel. Here's Lorna Coda. Tell us about it. Lorna, I love this shovel. <laughs> Thank you, Guy. Welcome to my garden here in London. Thank you for having me. This has taken us a year, a year to bring it back. And there's a reason why this has got seven five-star reviews. Every single review is five-star. Someone said it's the best invention ever. So you may be familiar with the old-style shovel. They have a flat top, so if you're digging into hardened soil or compacted clay, it's difficult and hard work, and yeah. they are so heavy. And you get the other ones with wooden handles. You get splinters, or the wooden handles break. The Wonder Shovel is one of the UK's best-kept secrets. From a family-based business called Greenbase here in the UK, this is toughened steel, reinforced fiberglass handle, giant handle here, tempered foot plates, and guess what? It weighs three and a half 
pounds, but is super, super strong. You mentioned those sharp saw blades there, the shark's teeth raking, getting spiky stuff, cutting through things. The sharp blade side, amazing for roots, hard soil. That tine, you're seeing it there, guy, for pinging out weeds, incredible. Look at that. And I, now listen, and I, I will tell you, all right, I, I have had a lot of different shovels. Like I said at the beginning, I, when I first got this home and I went out into my mulch area and my garden, I was like, honestly, I was, I, I was tickled. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Where has this shovel been all my life? First of all, it's got that great shape, right? So if you are planting, it, it makes the perfect hole, all right? Because all you do is you start it in and then you spin into a circle and it makes the perfect hole. The shape of it itself, I don't know why all shovels aren't made like this, because if you've got a flat top yeah. shovel, right, then all that surface area has to break into the ground versus this small surface area. Then it widens to allow you to expand the size of the hole. Now, I don't know about where the, what the soil is, uh, where uh, Lorna is. Lorna, are you, are you in England now or are you still in California? I'm back in England. We've right. got hard clay soil I, here. That's what I had in Arizona. Red clay. You couldn't, and it was full of little rocks. It was so hard to dig. This would make it like no, no, like no problem whatsoever. Absolutely. And I'm digging in here. And I'm, even if you come across something hard and heavy like a brick or stones, because this is tough and steel, it can take anything you throw at it. That shape, as you said, whether you're digging out the weeds with that tine at the end, or whether you're making the perfect hole for planting. We have a 93-year-old customer here in the UK called Elsie Mason. Her daughter bought her this shovel because it's three and a half pounds. Elsie has got back out gardening again, guys. Look at her. It's given her the, I know, go Elsie. <laughs> given her the pleasure of gardening again because she can use this shovel. It is the lightest shovel, the easiest shovel, the best designed shovel I've ever seen. At this price, it's phenomenal. And I've got some turf here, because if you're edging in your garden or your yard and you want to get through, just use those reinforced foot plates and you cut through your turf in seconds. And literally, it makes your life in the garden so much easier. You can see that it's just tearing it apart. But I've also got some roots. And this is a bane of a lot of people's lives. When you have those, like your banyan tree, you have those things where they have the hard roots. With this, it's just snapped that root into pieces. I mean, look at that. It's so, so easy, so clever. And if you're picking up fruit in the fall, use that pointed tip guy. I mean, look at you go there. I mean, it's just the oh, yeah. easiest, best design of a shovel I have seen. Yeah, and, and, and look at how tough it is, all right? I'm banging that against that brick. Nothing's gonna happen to that shovel. That's that stainless steel. Now, if I run into roots, remember, if I run into roots and come back down, you'll see, all I need to do is just kind of give it a little uh, shake, and it's gonna cut through those roots as well. If I'm just digging for, uh, you know, like I said, if I'm just doing uh, trying to put plants in the ground, what's nice about it is I can start in the center, and this is how I do it. I basically dig, 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 get that hole going, and then I just scoop out what I want, and then I've got that perfect, perfect sort of conical shape. It's easy to pull the soil back uh, to do that as well. They didn't waste a lot of effort on the on the steel, right? A lot of extra steel to make it wide. Yeah. Hey, listen, if I'm shoveling snow, I use a snow shovel. But but I wanted to mention, <laughs> Lorna, if you need to break ice with this, like off your driveway, oh, it's perfect for that yeah. as well, right? It, it is at three and a half pounds. It's so lightweight, but super strong. That's the secret of the reinforced fiberglass handle. Using it to get things out of ponds. Those tines, those shark's teeth on one side are great for anything spiky like brambles or nettles. When this comes to digging in beds and borders or edging grass, it in, comes into its own. But I've got a cinder block here and I want to show you how tough this is. Are you ready? It's broken the cinder block. Okay, and I'm not a strong person, but one of the five-star reviews says, great for women, because it's lightweight, it's super strong and tough. I can now garden with ease, and I've also, I wanna show how sharp it is when it comes to roots and things like tough soil. So I've got a watermelon here. <laughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> You said last year, guy, hey. it puts people off if they've got intruders in your house because so, it's so tough. Do me, and, <laughs> Lorna, do me a favor. If I, if I ever come visit you in London, please use a regular <laughs> knife for your watermelon. Although that was pretty yeah. entertaining. You know what? That reminded me of the guys that take a sword and take the top of the champagne bottle off. Anyway, oh, I love let me that. just ask you, let me ask you or, to ask everybody a quick favor. If you can use express ordering, whether you're using your remote control, your phone, whatever it is, 
We are so busy right now. This is the first airing of the year for this, okay? Uh, and it's going quickly. I've got hundreds of you in the ordering process. This is gonna make your job in the garden so much easier. If you need to transplant a tree, if you need to get through really hard compacted soil, Maybe you just got a bunch of boulders out in your yard and you want to move them, right? You can leverage anything with this. It's got great, the great ability to be able to pry uh, anything. It's, it, realistically, it's like a pry bar meets a shovel meets a saw, right? It's got everything built in and that's why it's so popular. And Lorna, I'll be honest with you, and I'm, and I'm telling you, all my friends out there, all my Facebook buddies, if this, I would pay $79 for this shovel and it's $29. Oh. I would easily pay <laughs> 79 bucks for this shovel. So I, know. I love it. Once, once you use it and you see how easy and lightweight it is and how strong and the ingenious design of the head, that's why it's worth its weight in gold. It's taken us a whole year to bring this back. This is a traditional shovel, heavy, cumbersome, difficult to use. And that flat blade here, you can't get into compacted soil or clay or roots or boulders. So they've reinvented the shovel, the Green Base team. Instead of a wooden handle that gives you splinters or can crack or rot, we've got reinforced fiberglass giant handlebar here you can hang this up after get two hands in reinforced tempered foot plates for extra leverage but it's this clever design you've got the sharp blade for cutting and slicing through roots you've got the shark's teeth those pointed tines you just saw me split a cinder block in half that's how strong this is that pointed tine for weeding like we're seeing here comes into its own and i love one of the five star reviews when they say best invention ever because it gives you back the freedom to do gardening and make your life so much easier. Just like 93-year-old Elsie Mason, based here, Guy, if she can garden, anyone can with this shovel. Well, it makes your life easier, right? You're doing less work. Let the shovel do the work. And I, and I will tell you, let, there's Elsa. Look at her. Proud, oh, beautiful Elsa. woman. How awesome is that, right? But you know, as you get older, you need something, you need a better tool, right? You're not gonna I'll go out there and use your regular old everyday shovel. You know, the one you get at the home store, costs you 25 bucks, it's got the big long handle, it's, you get splinters in it, it's wood, it cracks, it breaks, it gets all rusty. Remember, we're talking about uh, rust, uh, rust free stainless steel. You're talking about fiberglass on the pole, so you never have to worry about that breaking. And then the big rubberized grip, you will love it. The key to this is how it cuts through. And I don't care if it's going through grass I mean look at this stuff it just there's it goes through it it actually is cutting all that uh, those pine straw that's in there and now I can just spread that out and I can go right in if I want to pop a plant in here I can grab a plant shove it in like this get that one out of there right go in throw that aside now I can even use it to compact my soil around just like that and my and my job is done I mean it could not be any easier to be able to do it's all about the shape of the shovel okay that's the key right there yep. and no matter what I do to it like I said even if I'm you know break I'm trying to break that brick <laughs> nothing's got look it's actually chipping the brick into pieces I mean you can see how tough yeah. that is you're not going to be able to hurt it Almost 800 sold. Hey, listen, if you're in the ordering process, I got 300 people that are ordering with me right now. This shovel's a winner. It, it's a winner every season. It took Lorna a year, right, to get it back, Lorna? Yeah, a whole year to bring this back to you at HSN. It's one of Britain's best kept secrets. The gardeners here, it makes their life easy. It's lightweight, but super strong. Three and a half pounds only. That's thanks to a reinforced fiberglass handle. You can use it wet, you can use it dry, you can use compacted soil and clay, rocks, roots, boulders, you name it, nothing stops this shovel. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like 12-month VIP financing on select items, plus extra flex on beauty, jewelry, shoe, and fashion purchases all day every day. And at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $40 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard got to be one of the best spinners I've ever seen. Okay, I know you're all looking at me, you watch me all the time, you're like, he said that last week. Well, yeah, but this one has mermaid tails. Okay, I th I th last week didn't have mermaid tails. Actual, not real mermaid. Well, it could be real mermaid tails if there's such a thing. But anyway, the action on it is gorgeous. You've got dual spinning uh, um, spinners on either side. that will go in each direction because they're curved, all right, what happens is, is the wind, set up here without tripping over, what happens is the wind will pick it up in one direction on one side, so it'll start spinning this way, and then on the other side, because of the angle of the, uh, of the uh, little blades, it'll start spinning, I'm gonna try to get it so you can see, it'll start spinning in the other, in the other direction, dang it, 
All right, there you go. So you can see exactly how beautiful it is, and it'll also pivot to face the wind. It is eighty-four dollars and ninety-five cents. Uh, it is. Uh, if you see it standing, I'll stand in front of it. I'm six feet tall, so it's just about six feet tall. We have it uh, squashed down into the ground there. Um, so just about six feet. It comes in multicolor. It comes in, I think we're calling the other one Sunset, which is the blend of orange, and that's beautiful as well. I think I like the Sunset. And then it also comes in copper and bronze. Yvette is back with us. Yvette, this is going quick. This one, look at that. Oh, my gosh, look at Yvette. This is why I wanted you to come outside. So here, this is a little bit of a breeze, and look at them. They are just having so much fun out here. And that's, that's all you have to do. You just have to find a place for them. And first of all, the colors are stunning. They're, they're vibrant, but that unique design, the design of the mermaid tail is so neat. Again, brand new from us this year, um, a new design, but you know, it's the, it's the technology here. Actually, they're beautiful, but they construct these in a way where when the wind catches them, they're gonna spin bi-directionally. That's what's gonna give you this really mesmerizing, beautiful look. And you. You can see them in action here. You can't go wrong. You have the gorgeous sunset colors, orange and yellow. The multi is always a favorite. And then if you're a little more artsy, right? If you're a little more artsy, you have the copper one, which I think is super cool. I keep this one around the front of my house because I have copper in my doors, but, and I am five, six. So these are, I have them staked just in the ground and you can see how tall these are. And by the way, again, remember, because they're durably painted. They're not gonna chip, they're not gonna rust, they're not gonna fade. And our pole that we give you guys, I think this is important because our pole is like two inches. It's an inch thicker than most of those other poles out there. Yeah. So that way when those winds pick up, this isn't, it, the pole won't bend, it won't snap. And I know that's an issue maybe with some other spinners you might have had before, not with this one. They are made durably but yet look at how stunning they are. Yeah, we uh, look at that. I, I like, show that copper one again, guys, cause it's not, it's just spinning a little bit right now cause we just got a little breeze. I want you to look at the two-tone color of that copper. That is so beautiful. Uh, I mean, it's just got such a patina, great look. If you want to get that one, I'm limited on that. The most limited is the multi. I have about 600 left in the multicolor. If you want to get the multicolor, I'll get this one going in. Actually, while it's sitting there, you can see the mermaid tails, right? That's why we call it the mermaid tail spinner because they're little mermaid tails. And look at how beautiful that color combination is in the multicolor. Now, granted, if you got a tornado, or a hurricane coming, lay it, <laughs> lay it on its back, all right? Take it out of the ground, lay it on its back. But other than that, with that extra thick pole, it could be blowing 20, 30, 40 miles an hour out there. You're gonna be fine. That thing's gonna be spinning like a helicopter out there. Uh, oh, great job. Look at how pretty that is. I love that one. This is a really hard choice of that. I don't know which color I like best. I know, yeah, I agree. That's probably gonna be your hardest, uh, your hardest choice here is the color. Again, that copper is stunning. Uh, it's a little more artsy the multi and then my friend she picked up this sunset one in a second she has a boat and she's putting it right out on her boat dock and i thought wow that's an i guess i didn't think about that because i don't have a boat but what a cool place to put it right you get a lot of breeze there but um and you can you can move these around i mean they're not they're not permanent so pick them up move them around they both sides remember you have these blades on both sides the top of the spinner head will even spin around to catch the breeze in different directions. So you'll look outside and say, oh, okay, the wind must be blowing that way. But I do, you know, guy, again, wind and weather has so many fantastic um, spinners. I, this one is different with that mermaid tail design. I, it's really pretty. I really, really like this one. This yeah. Year. I like, and I love the fact that we do dual spinners because it adds such a, a level, an other level when you've got it either way. Here's the, by the way, here's the sunset. And you can see, we'll give it, we'll give it a little help. We'll give it a little spin to show you how the sunset looks. Look at how pretty that is, right? I mean, just absolutely gorgeous when the wind picks it up, when it goes in two separate directions. So we are getting very busy right now. I knew we would. Uh, these don't take, these take maybe five minutes to put together. It's literally, you put the pole together and then you just screw on the two blades. It's all that you need to do. It's very easy. I love this yeah. too, uh, Yvette, for people that don't, maybe don't have a big garden. People that live in an apartment and want a little something fun yes. in front of their apartment or condo, right? They just want yep. something pretty. Uh, you could easily, if you wanted, remember if you bought a big pot 
and filled it full of soil. You could put this out on your little patio deck and have that little sunshine, never have to water it, water it or deal with it. Doesn't need any sun or it can sit in the sun all day. These are from wind and weather. They're made to last year after year after year. They're gonna be beautiful. And I think everybody deserves a little bit of sunshine in their life. And I'll tell you, even on a rainy day, it'd be nice to pull into your driveway and see this. I love that shot. I wanna live there, yeah. right? Look at how beautiful. Looks like the, like the I don't know what it is. Looks like the Appalachian Trail out there. <laughs> uh, but look at, how, look at how pretty even the copper and the multicolor and the copper is gorgeous, okay? Or the multicolor uh, and, and sort of almost has like a verdigris color. Really, you get a better shot of it when, when the wind slows down here. You can see how pretty that is. Get these home. Uh, $84.95 is $10 off, so that'll cover your shipping and uh, handling, and then some. And you get something home that's beautiful. Let me tell you, I've got my garden hose, which I love, my lawnmower, which I love, and my edger, which I love. And I own this Works edger. I bought it actually not too long ago. Why? Uh, I had another edger that I had for a long time, but the battery was dying on it. I didn't buy it here. I bought it at the home store. I actually had it for a couple of years. It was a good edger, uh, but it kept running out of juice, so I knew the battery was going. This is from Works. This is a 20-volt edger and trimmer. So not, and it's completely adjustable. So I can adjust the length, the size of it. Um, what I love about this one is the fact that it does both without me having to manipulate things sideways to edge. So when I want to edge, all right, so here I am just doing my regular, right? We, not gonna show you live, but you can hear it going. It's, it's a string trimmer. When I want to turn it into an edger, I unhook here, open that up, turn it, one turn, lock it, and now, check it out, now I'm edging and I can edge anywhere that I need to edge very, very quickly. So it turns, it goes from being a regular edger to a regular weeder, $89.95. Now they dropped the price. This was supposed to be 99. They were giving me a $10 discount. They dropped it another $20. I absolutely love this one. If you want to get it at 784-947, that is the item number. It is available on FlexBay. It has those amazing uh, works, uh, rechargeable batteries. And by the way, not a one year, not a two year, but a three year warranty. It even comes with wheels. So if you want to do your edging on the wheels like the pros do, you can do that as well. 784-947, uh, our special guest, Carrie Mobley standing by there she is I, I know you appreciate I know you appreciate a good edger and trimmer oh yeah well listen that's the framing of your yard right I mean you never see a picture at a museum without a frame and that's what this two-in-one is going to give you but I'm pulling out my inner Amos when he does his dancing like you can get with this or you can get with that you can get with this so what's great about works is no gas no cords, no oil changes, really easy to use. The power instead comes from our 20 volt battery. So zero emissions and it's a two in one, right? So the great news is you need an edger, we've got you. You need a trimmer, we've got you. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of come in here real quick and show you the difference and why edging is so fantastic. And Heather, I know my, I've got my girlfriend Heather here. You simply pull the safety. Awesome. Look at that mean, line. The lines are fantastic. This is how you prevent the grass from growing up onto your curbing, onto your sidewalks, right? And honestly, I mean, I can do it over here as well. We've got that 20 volt battery power. I love it. And just like you said, Guy, with a couple of quick adjustments, now I'm gonna trim away. If you have a small piece of property and you see no reason to pull out a full lawnmower, Works has got your back, right? So I can come in and I'm gonna have to move this gas tank and this extension cord, which, ugh, we're so done with that. Maybe you have some areas. Like I do, right? My lawn guys never wanna go underneath my obelisk 
And that's because I've got this jasmine planted in there. And I, I scared them, Guy. I did not want them to touch it. But this is gonna be great even if you have these grassy plants. We can slice and dice right through these. And this is important because if you have any of those grasses, the best way to train them this time of year is to take them all the way down. I saw you just had Tracy on the show. She's my girlfriend. I got this bench from her. Get underneath your benches. Let's go around trees. And we have this safety guard that I wanna talk to you guys about because here's the thing about work. It's safety first, not just for your hands, which they always have a safety, but for your plants. So I have the safety that can be adjusted. If I am using this as a trimmer, and let's say I want to make sure that I don't get too close, I can use that safety to guide yeah. me. And everything is adjustable, Guy. This is easy to use, it's yeah. fun to use. Yeah, I know you know, I know you know the works brand. Well, I've got, yeah, I've got a, probably about four or five of these things. By the way, you can also adjust, uh, th that I just discovered, uh, you can adjust the height and the angle. Simply, the handle will actually, and I'll do it like this, the handle actually clicks down and locks into whatever space you want. So you can get the exact angle. So if I want to hold it on the ground, you see how it stays nice and flat? And then you'll see how it works. I'll lift it up a little bit. There it is. If you want to adjust the string, okay, I love this uh, unit because on the bottom, there's a button. All you do is hit the button and that clicks the string out in little half inch increments. So you never have to worry about, uh, do I have enough string down there? Uh, and we give you the rolls to go along with it and we have access to more rolls as you go. <coughs> it's got what we call that double helix design. That's what really does a great job uh, at trimming. You have a backup spool that's uh, located on this as well. Um, do you guys want me to walk out? Should I, should I go? Do you have a camera out there? All right, yeah, I'll walk out. I think what I'll probably show you is the edging because that's a really big deal. So uh, it's a little bit hot out here, so I'm probably not gonna be out here too long, but uh, so, so let me show you. So I'm just, gonna add, I'm just gonna use this as a regular trimmer and uh, just let me know when you have the shot. Am I up? Okay. I, I don't have a camera. So when you're, when you're doing your regular weeding, you can go like that and you can see how that works. And then remember what I told you. All I do is open it, turn it to the right and lock it into place. And then what I'm going to do too is also crank it back down so it's flat. And now look, I have a perfect edger. Oh, I love this. Thanks guys. I bet this is a good shot. Look at how clean that edge is right there. Can you mm -hmm. see that? Watch, I'll do, I'll do it right here so you can see how it starts. Watch this. That makes all the difference in the world. Now, can you see that perfect edge right there? That's what you're paying landscapers to do. And then remember, when you want to put it back in its original position, I put it down, I lock it up, I lock it in, and now I'm back to... I mean, Carrie, it couldn't be any easier. Oh my gosh. I mean, imagine not having to pull out that big extension cord or a gas tank but you're still getting the power. And here's where the power comes from. It's our 20 volt battery, which by the way, and I know Guy, you know this as well, there are more than a hundred products in this power share company, right? So if you have bought any of our pressure washers or garden tools, or even our power lit or our, you know, powerful tools that take a battery, you can use this. They charge really quickly and you slide it in and we had a great, really, a great representation. We had someone use this edger to go all around an entire football field. An entire football field on one charge. So for me, again, I go back to owning a home, right? I mean, you probably have somebody coming out and taking care of this for you. Are you tired of paying the money? This is lightweight. I mean, this is like five, six pounds, and that includes the battery. But having the option, right, where you can slide and dive through that and give those finishing touches. And that's what really makes your property look beautiful. And I love, you know, like we said, everything is adjustable, right? So the handle can go up and down. And if I want to switch it over to the trimmer, easy peasy. Now... And I'm trying to be careful because you know I'm an actual landscape designer and gardener. I'm trying to make sure I don't take off too much. 
but we have that great spring in there. And honestly, the work brand, what is so great about it? It's a three year warranty that is unheard of in the industry. And again, I just think about all of you who wanna have that beautiful, well manicured lawn, but at the same time, you don't necessarily wanna pay somebody else to do it. You might have that big, hunky, clunky gas tank that you're gonna pull out when you have your other weed trimmer or your edger. Yeah. No cords, no oil well, changes, just enjoy and, owning and a home, right? Terry, you don't, you don't, <clears throat> let me just tell you this. Unless you're doing it professionally, you don't need the one that's gas. I, cause, and this, I'll tell you this, I owned a gas trimmer. I had it for two and a half years. And then uh, it, it, I had to, it was a pull start, so it was like a chainsaw, I had to pull start all the time. I thought, okay, I'm gonna spend the two or $300 and get a gas trimmer. Biggest mistake I ever made, because I only was trimming for like 15, 20 minutes every time I cut my grass. I didn't need, a, a gas trimmer is for being able to trim all day, right? Like if you're doing regular landscaping. You don't need that, plus they smell, you gotta mix the gas with oil, you have to mix, put a mix in there. Uh, and then what happened was the little valves that transport the gas to the engine actually melted away, I had to have that replaced. It was a nightmare. I have, I, I told you, I just got rid of my electric trimmer and I bought this one about a week ago and I've already used it, it's fantastic. It's the easiest trimmer to go from edger to trimmer back and forth that I've ever used before, all right? It's a simple way to be able to clean up your yard. It looks fantastic, it's lightweight. The whole thing only weighs about five pounds. So if you're a senior out there, heck, you could cut your grass with this if you didn't want to pull the lawnmower right. out because you're going to get a great shot. Uh, Carrie, you've got about 30 seconds to wrap it up. Yeah, and again, you know, as a landscape designer, as a professional gardener, I want you to be able to put together the most beautiful yard possible. So think about your property, your driveway, your sidewalks. Think about how much money you've been spending. Or do you have to wait for somebody else to come out and take care of this? I love to talk about maintaining my yard. So again, I've got this now in the trimmer position. I press the safety, which is super easy, and this protects little hands. We press the safety, we pull back. Look at that. You don't even have to pull out wow. the big slippers because a lot of that, if you've got dexterity issues or it gets tiring. Yeah. I mean, this guy is less weight than those big, heavy slippers. Am I oh. right? Hey, you just gave that plant a haircut. Look at how easy that is. <laughs> like my producer and Kyle. it'll come back better and strong. My producer <laughs> Kyle's hair Kyle. looks like that right now. All right, Carrie Mobley, <laughs> thank you so much. Great job as always. Uh, thanks for uh, being Sorry. part of Guy's Garden. <laughs>
giving them lots of water and nutrients and you know what they want is these just absolutely enormous enormous flowers we we talk about them calling them the 65 mile an hour plant because if somebody's driving by your house at 65 miles an hour they're going to notice these they are absolutely not going to miss them because these are such a big wow moment if you don't want that going on in your garden you don't want people asking you about them don't get these like I, I love what Rochelle said and you're right. If you don't want something that's gonna be showy, don't buy this. If you don't want people saying, <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that thing on your patio? And by the way, I like them in, in containers. That's the way I like it because yeah, you can move too. it around. Yeah. yeah. If you don't like that, don't buy it. But boy, if you want people to be stopping and saying, wow, what a garden, 808-943, that's the one that you want. Rochelle, thank you, my dear. Good to see you as you're always. Welcome. Appreciate as it. Always. Yeah. Short and sweet. You too. <laughs> yeah. All right, hon, take care. <laughs> right, see ya. 808 $914, $17.95. And as with all our flowers and all our plants, free shipping and handling on those as well.